Does wetting new concrete make it stronger? An important part of the concrete curing process is hydration, and especially that first window of three days is critical for the hydration of the concrete. Now, this is why you've heard of wet curing or moist cure curing, and you're wondering, should I be doing this to my concrete? You can't say for every comp concrete application, yes, because there's some that you shouldn't, but for the vast majority of concrete applications, especially most structural things like a driveway or a patio or a deck or something to that degree, a sidewalk, these things probably would benefit from regular hydration throughout. Well, I mean, throughout the entire curing process would be ideal, but the first three days is going to account for about 40% of the overall strength of this concrete. And that's what you want to make sure that you do is for the first three days, make sure that you're watering the concrete consistently throughout the entire time. The time at which you should start watering the concrete is as soon as it's achieved a finished set that such that it's no longer if you touch it it doesn't leave any texture or indents and you should even be able to walk on top of it before I would apply any sort of water because water over top of fresh concrete could cause a problem. So what is so important about this water curing process over the first three days? If the concrete dries out entirely all of the water evaporates it shrinks prematurely. I mean, it's gonna do this anyway, and that's the reality, but it shrinks early. If the concrete is not strong yet, and it's exposed to forces, likely it's gonna break, and maybe it's gonna break in ways that it wouldn't have if it had more time to achieve strength before it was exposed to those forces. That's the process of wet curing in a nutshell. You add water to it such that it's going to retain the water that's with inside it, not letting it dry out completely, and that way you're going to not expose it to the eventual forces that it will be exposed to because of the nature of concrete such that it shrinks as it cures. I mean, what else could you need to know? 40% strength is achieved in the first three days, 70% strength is achieved in the first week. So as far as wet curing, the first three days, critically important. The first week, extremely important. Probably if you're like trying to get by with the minimum amount, that's about it. You're looking at about a week's time that you're going to want to keep it wet. How much water is the amount that you want to use? As much as it takes to make sure that it's wet. If there's different climates, the amount of wind, temperature, all this is going to come into play. So basically just keep it wet. If it looks like it's dry, add more. I mean, it doesn't dry out immediately. The rea reality is, is that concrete stays moist for a long time in mo most environments even when it's chemically actuating it stays moist for a little while, while past the point it looks mostly dry on the surface but if possible the first week but especially the first three days make sure you keep it soaked the entire time five ten times a day a lot of applications where strength is paramount importance you just run a sprinkler the whole time never let it dry out just run it the whole time so when do you not use wet curing or moist curing? Uh, decorative, some decorative applications would be a problem. Uh, cold weather is a concern because if you are adding moisture and adding moisture and you experience a freeze, uh, even a brief one, even at the surface level, you're going to get the surface layer of the concrete. You know, the water freezes and expands and kind of explodes and the whole surface spalls and is definitely ruined and there's nothing you can do about it at that point. So. Those are the main times that you don't use it for most applications, wet curing, moist curing is the way to go. I've got some wet concrete here. I just put it in here. Should I let it dry and then start adding water? Well, the problem with that, or not necessarily problem, but something I can do to prevent it from drying out early is I can tarp it, tent it, or cover it. Taking some sort of plastic and covering freshly poured concrete will drastically, dramatically reduce the rate of evaporation from the surface. This would be very important. It would trap in some heat that would actuate the concrete a little bit faster, but again, it's going to retain that moisture because you've covered the surface layer entirely. The only concern, if you have fresh concrete and you're going to cover it, be aware if the plastic is left to touch the concrete. It's going to leave 
uh, you could could leave an impression if the concrete is fresh enough, but more likely the concrete's already hard and you're not too worried about leaving an impression from the plastic, but it still will leave a discoloration because of the difference in hydration. Like you'll definitely hold moisture at the surface layer where the con where the concrete is touching the plastic and visually you will, will be able to see that in the final product. So if visually that sounds like it would be a concern to you, make sure that you build a tent and then a plastic dome over top of that. That is the ideal way to cure concrete. You pour it, finish it, make a small tent or dome out of plastic. Leave it that way for probably the first, it depends on the environmental conditions, but first number of hours until the concrete no longer looks moist. With all of the, the, the dome plastic, you'll develop condensation and moisture and water. It'll be a very humid and damp environment, and that's why the Concrete will hold that initial hydration for so long, but as soon as that's not working anymore or the concrete's been there, let's say eight hours, 12 hours, something like that, and it looks dry, that's when you want to apply your water. Start applying your water, continue applying it for three days until the concrete's achieved 40% of its strength, and then ideally continue on until the seven day point when the concrete's achieved not quite 70%, but it's going to be a lot stronger and it's going to have to do with the moist curing process that you've applied. So that is why you want to moist cure, and definitely for most concrete applications, it's the way to go.